What's happening, gamers? I am John, host of Video Games in the World. Brie Larson, an actress who is a winner of multiple awards, including Best Actress in the Leading Role for her role in the movie Room, in which she won an Academy Award for. Not to mention she is well known for her role in the hit superhero film Captain Marvel. She also reprised her role as a character in the 2019 film Avengers Endgame. Brie Larson is loved by many, but scorned by so many as well. And here's what she says this time. Brie Larson says that she wants to be Samus Aran in a live-action Metroid movie. But this isn't the first time she expressed interest in the role of Samus. In 2018, Larson posted a Halloween picture in the Zero Suit Samus costume, later saying she wants to make a Metroid film. The Metroid franchise has been very popular since 1986, and we've been and we've seen many of its successful titles like Return of Samus, Super Metroid, my personal favorite, Metroid Fusion, the Prime Trilogy, Other M was meh. But Federation Force was not my cup of tea. Although I love the the fan-made remake called AM. 2R, another Metroid 2 remake, and the one made for the 3DS, Samus Returns. Awesome. For those who don't know the video game series, Metroid, it tells the story of bounty hunter and adventurer Samus Aran, who fights against the space pirates and use the parasitic organisms called Metroids to attack galactic civilization. She fights also against massive monsters, Kraid, and Ridley, her arch nemesis. Her final encounter is against the main antagonist and space pirate leader, her mother brain. If you ever played the NES game when you were a child, either in the 80s or 90s, then you should know that we all remember that iconic moment at the end of the game where Samus was revealed to be a woman and not your typical male hero. Samus Aran in video games is one of the many, many symbols of female representation and empowerment. She proves that women can be heroes and kick ass, and not just play the trope of a damsel in distress. In an episode of Animal Talking via Game Rant, the talk show within Animal Crossing New Horizons, Brie Larson was featured. The subject of Metroid came up with Larson responding, I would love that so much to the idea of playing protagonist Samus Aran. Larson stated, she was always my character that I played in Super Smash Bros., and I just loved her. I definitely want to make that movie. Definitely want to participate in that. So Nintendo, once again, I'd love to do it. Well, I gotta say that she fits the role of Samus. Now, if a live-action Metroid movie is to be made, which there's no announcement of it yet, then the producers should get people who know the story and lore of the series to help out. Another actress that was interested in portraying Samus Aran was former UFC champion, MMA fighter, and WWE superstar Ronda Rousey. Now, Samus is indeed strong and independent, but in stories like Other M and the manga, we get to see a more emotional side of her. Regarding a live-action Metroid film, I remember back in 2002 when people were talking about a live-action feature film based on the video game. The ones who first got the rights were Warren Side and Craig Perry, the men behind American Pie and Final Destination. They had plans of making it, but then lost the rights to the film. The next one to obtain these rights were John was John Woo, director of Face Off and Mission Impossible 2, damn good movies. He also lost the rights, and since then, the movie ended up in development hell. Yoshio Sakamoto stated that he had no interest in a Metroid film adaptation and that he would only support such a project if it was directed by Yuji Kitaura of D-Rockets, who directed the CG cutscenes in Metroid Other M. He restated this position in a 2017 interview when asked if he would like to see a live-action adaptation of Metroid or an animated TV series such as the one that was suggested by Adi Shankar, the main showrunner of Castlevania, and also known for his fan films such as The Punisher Dirty Laundry and the uber dark and greedy Power Rangers fan film, and also his animated short Fixing Apu. Now, when Nintendo was 
or still is hesitant in the live action Metroid film because of the massive flop that was the Super Mario Bros. movie starring Bob Hoskins, John Leguizamo, Dennis Hopper, and Samantha Mathis. Can't say I blame them. But when it comes to me watching movies based on video games, the Super Mario Bros. movie, to me, guilty pleasure. Only good movies based on video games I have seen were the first live-action Mortal Kombat movie in 1995 and Silent Hill in 2006. The first two live-action Resident Evil movies were good, but the rest sucked. Sonic the Hedgehog was good. The Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider movies were okay. The 2018 Tomb Raider movie was pretty good. Street Fighter Assassin's Fist and Street Fighter Resurrection were true adaptations of Street Fighter. Now, the Warcraft adaptation was a total meh. The Spirits Within was not like, like Final Fantasy at all. If they made a Final Fantasy movie, then it should have been adapted from at least one of the games. So screw the Spirits Within. Assassin's Creed, the live-action movie, was meh. I hated the animus in that movie. It was stupid. But let it be known that the majority of live-action adaptations of video games were so bad. The Mortal Kombat Annihilation movie, I hated it. Double Dragon sucked, and everyone's crush at the time was in it, Alyssa Milano. Street Fighter, the Van Damme movie, was lambasted. The Legend of Chun-Li was absolute dog crap. The UV Ball movies such as House of the Dead, Far Cry, Blood Rain, Dungeon Siege, Postal, and Siege didn't exist in the first place. Tekken, people didn't like it. Dead or Alive, nobody saw that. Prince of Persia, people hated it. Doom, people hated it. Doom Annihilation. Although it had the hell element that the 2006 movie lacked, it was still horrible. As for Samus Aran, I always thought of these other actresses who can pull off the role of Samus. Natalie Dormer, Emilia Clarke, Jennifer Lawrence, Katie Lotz, Melissa Benoist, Scarlett Johansson, Eliza Taylor, and Sierra Hanna. I still remember when I was in high school when people said that Uma Thurman or Peter Wilson would be good. Uma, she would have done great, but personally, Peter Wilson would have been awesome. Some said Michelle Rodriguez should have played her as well. <laughs> well, leave your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'm John, host of Video Games in the World. Have a good one. And stay tuned for my live stream, Illusion of Gaia playthrough with commentary. So get ready for some commentary about the game and also about the cultural references that come with that fantastic Super NES gem. Later, everyone.